everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. I just finished The Code of the Extraordinary Mind by Vishen Lakuhani, and he is founder of Mind Valley, and he speaks of so many different ways to evolve beyond what he calls the culture scape and reawakening and transcending all that, looking beyond society's B rules or BS rules and becoming unfwithable. <laughs> He uses some very <clears throat> strong, straightforward language, which I like, but I don't really care for profanity, so that's why I'm not using it myself. I'm not a prude, but I only use profanity if um, I'm angry, and <clears throat> that doesn't happen very often. He talks about these uh, Bushido principles. There's one called Kensho, and the other one's called uh, Saitori. And Kensho is what I was going through. It was it's just a period of devastating loss, trials and tribulation. And it's almost like hitting rock bottom, but yet there's beauty to be had. It's sort of uh, akin to silver being refined. And it's uh, equivalent to when I read The Untethered Mind. The author actually speaks of human beings... Uh, being formed in a kiln like glassworks and they're malleable and they can be formed into whatever shape they wish and I was thinking of a term that I really liked from A&P, totipotent it can, there are endless possibilities as to what this cell can become and it's not limited by anything but the only problem with totipotent cell is once it becomes like a heart cell or brain cell, muscle cell uh skin cell, then it's relegated to that the rest of its life, except brain cells are a little bit in their own category, but I'm not going to go into that. But what I really like about this book is uh, Saitori. I think I'm actually going into that. Saitori is what he calls blissitude and just the experience of seeing beauty and everything and gratitude and having this un insurmountable luck and all these things synchronistically happening to you. And I'm at the crossroads of this occurring in my life. And I have an, uh, I have a, um, if anybody's out there watching, I have an idea. My idea, just hear me out, is called Carrying Affirmations, uh, Patent Pending, Copyright, Please Don't. This is my intellectual property. Uh, I may need to have a get, I might have to get a lawyer for this, but, uh, because I really feel very strongly about this. But this is an idea that came to me when I was reading this book. And it's basically if you get a weekly uh, devotional in your email, it would be similar to that. But you could get a random affirmation based on the day. And people can go to the uh, website and they can download affirmations and print them out and put them on their refrigerator where they can see them. Give them to somebody they love. Give them to their children. Give them to whomever they need. These little pick-me-up. And uh, there are videos there. There are going to be... Um, Music, there's going to be music there that's uplifting and upbeat and ins inspirational. I'm even thinking of doing testimonials and stories. Um, it's, it's inspired to encourage, support, uh, motivate, uh, and give people the willingness to know that posi positivity is the end road. It, it changes everything. Positive people, people who are optimistic tend to live longer lives than those who are pessimistic. And this just came to me today when I was speaking to a pessimist who was describing and growing about everything. You know, I was telling him I don't have any children and I only have a dog and a cat. He said, well, they're probably easier to raise. I said, I haven't found the right person yet. He said, well, it's really hard. I thought, no, it's not. I am surrounded by love on a daily basis. One of these days is going to smack me right in the face. And <laughs> I am honestly, I can't wait. I'm excited by that. And I know that's coming very soon in my life. And I, I just know without a doubt that it, it will happen. And I, by the time, uh, I'm just going to continue loving myself while I wait. And then there's a second part to this. There's a social experiment that I want to try. But through employees of 
this company, I'm going to call it Carrying Affirmations, but they're going to be placed in pla uh, places that are not dangerous, but they'll have a placard and it'll say free hugs, uh, semicolon, actually colon, donations accepted, whatever you want to pay is fine. The suggestion alone will give people to pause. It'll, get, it'll make people reflect and give money. The money will actually be used. They, they won't know what the money is going uh, toward, so they may be a little bit leery. But the money itself will be used to uh, fund things in the community, like... Uh, Shelters, refuge cities, donations, trade schools, skill training, basic car maintenance, basic home ec, interview practice, etiquette, etc. Uh, maybe even places where they can attend school. Um, the only uh, stipulation would be if they would continue to use that education to further themselves and make themselves independent. Like my friend uh, Charlie said, you know, a little skin in the game. Steve G had the idea for free school, which I uh, really aspire to. However, in this economy, it's not practical. But it would be, mine would be next to free because, like I said, they have to have the, uh, the gumption to want to um, evolve, to better themselves, to, to do more with. And... The Extraordinary Mind is about that. It's just replacing the old worn out system and rebooting it and putting in new software, so to speak. New, new hardware, new software, uh, do a hack, a mind hack, what uh, Vishen calls in that case. And uh, it's, it's an extraordinary book, <laughs> the book says. And I, I'm looking forward to just reading up all I can about how to transcend normal rules and go beyond just looking at the, at the everyday ordinary and be unique because I already feel like I'm there. Um, I just have to continue pushing myself. And I think that this, uh, this idea that I have, I, I want what my true calling in life is to help other people. And I hadn't had this idea for a long time. I have no idea how I'm going to make this work, but uh, it's it's a way to just, it's it's there. I think this needs to be, this has to be reality because there's so many people that are just complaining and, and griping and vetching about life and why, because there's so much negativity in the world. Well, you can change that. That is something you can control. In your own thought process, thoughts do not define you. You are not your thoughts. That's what I learned from Untethered Soul. They come and they go. But uh, you can you can transcend that and just uh, think on a higher level. And I love how he talks about affirmations. The one I'm, I'm going to be using is actually from the book. So Vishen, please don't. Don't sue me, but you are you are enough, and you are extraordinary. You are beautiful. I love you. You would say that to yourself every day. Of course, you wouldn't be saying that out loud in the public because people might think you're a little loopy. Ha! But <laughs> tell yourself you love yourself. A lot of people don't, and uh, I didn't used to. I, I used to just kind of criticize myself, like, oh, yeah, well... Yeah, you don't really have anything, and I, I know what voice that was. That was just uh, society saying, "Well, you're you think you're so big, you think you have it all, you you think that uh, uh, you're just all that bag of chips. You've got you've got nothing. I mean, both your parents are dead, and what do you have? You you don't even have any children. So what do you have to give your legacy to? Give your legacy to? I have other people." to give my legacy to. I don't need to give it to children. Society, <laughs> yeah, I don't like that society places this rule on uh, my my kind. Because it's just, it, it's not fair. We, we can rise above that. Um, I'm thinking that this will help so many people and raise them up out of their quagmire and, and make them realize that they can go beyond just the average everyday mundane and uh, start breaking, bending reality as Vishen talks about. And it's just, it's so inspirational and I really want to make this um, 
a reality because I feel like once I do, it'll be what I want, even though I'm at the crossroads right now thinking, well, which way is uh, the divine going to take me? And, you know, I'm keeping my antenna up, so I'm not really certain. I'm, I'm praying about it, and I'm asking other people to pray too for answers. Uh, but should any of that not work, I'm going to have... I know there, there are going to be people out there that are going to support this. Uh, so that's about it. Until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao, Tootsie.